So a lot of things that are still in the works, like I said, we'll be getting the samples today. Now what we're doing with the samples is we're, we're looking at the colors to determine what we specifically like. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna put it in the hands of you guys. If you're watching this video and you're a serious decorator, you know what leather it is. Uh, tell us what some of the colors you use are or maybe even some of your experiences with these other companies that we're highlighting just to let us know, hey, what do you like? What do you not like? And we'll go from there. Now we'll be starting off uh, small with only the most popular colors that we know will sell that are hot right now. And then eventually we'll be adding more and more and more. We're gonna progress this in stages, but we're gonna progress it based on what you guys are liking, what you guys might not like. Uh, we'll take polls on colors. But what I wanna do is actually have a company where we create custom colors together and we just put it in mass production and we have a bunch of unique colors that we do. So that'll be cool as well as uh, I've got some very cool leatherette that we're working on that's gonna actually just explode this is going to be a very customizable product that i think you guys are going to love for the leatherette side on doing patches so be waiting for that be prepared subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos that have information about that in the next videos down the line we're going to be testing the grip tech adhesive that we will be selling so again we'll be selling it in these production rolls uh, we're ordering it by the 100 yard rolls so you'll be getting 19 by 100 yards but we will have some sample kits that we'll send out to some influencers as well as you know some serious hat decorators that are in the industry if that's you hit me up uh you can find me on instagram you know my emails are, are in the description uh, hit me up you know have a, have a dialogue conversation with me and and we can go from there now here's the thing i actually tried to reach out to like josh josh is a cool dude like I, I spoke with Josh one time, you know, from Lone Star. We had a cool conversation and he sent me some samples and I really appreciate it. I mean, the sad thing is, is I haven't been able to do any videos on his product yet, but his, his, his product is very nice. He, one thing I'll say about Josh is he's always been very innovative when it comes to his product, his quality, making sure he's on par and he's exploded because of that. He has great incentives, great, great retention when it comes to his people. But I think that's partly due to the fact that he dangles bait at them, you know, meaning when you purchase a product from his site, well, if you refer his product or something and somebody purchases, you know, you get you get money or, or something back in return. So when you have something like that, you're gonna create a lot of people just selling your product only because they come up on it. I don't wanna be that person that, that people are just talking about the product because they wanna come up on it because they're, they earn a commission. I want people talking about my product because it's the best product that's out there and it's guaranteed to create a professional product for your clients. So every time you're spending on our website, you're earning points for future purchases. So you don't have to actually go put in work to make points on our website or money back. You get it every time you purchase. You don't get it because you're out there having to do something. So. Just know that you get points for free when you purchase on our website. That's that's how we will. So in the future videos, we're gonna be talking about Hyde Bond. We're gonna com be comparing Hyde Bond to Lone Star. Obviously we know that their backings are different. Uh, Hyde Bond is gray like JDS and then Lone Star switched to this black fabric stuff. We're actually gonna be testing that on some hats. Here's what I do know though. I did talk to my source in China and in regards to this black fabric backing, she did say that this wasn't the best one. So we will see. Josh is claiming that it is premium. My source said that's not the best one. So she actually showed me what the best one was and we'll have those samples today to be looking at because we're gonna be looking at foam, AKA sponge backing samples as well to see which one we like. Uh, we'll be testing them in the engraver to see how the backings actually engrave, do they melt too fast, just to see you know, what they look like. So far, our experience with the sponge that's on this hat right here has been pretty good. Cool stuff so far. Uh, we'll see you know, the results. And we're gonna be very fair you know, even with what we're selling. But the fact that we're getting all these samples in, we're thoroughly testing to make sure we do have a great product. That's what we're doing, guys. We're coming out in comparison to Hyde Bond, Lone Star, Patch Crafters, with an adhesive that is way different than theirs. Like I said, I know what adhesive it is. It's a polyurethane five mil hot melt adhesive. Obviously very thick, that five mil 
takes you into the territory of being able to put it on leather. They have even an eight mil uh, in that material, but here's the difference. So this has the hot melt on there. So this has already been applied to the patch, right? There's nothing to the adhesive. It doesn't activate till it's hot. It doesn't stick at all. So where we're changing the game is that we're releasing our grip tech adhesive with the tackiness to it. So when we peel ours, it doesn't go nowhere. Now, why is that great? You can actually hear it. Even when you peel the film off the adhesive, you can put it back just like that. Why is this good? It's good because it helps with patch placement. When you're trying to apply thick leather, such as this, I don't know if you can see that. This is about a five to six ounce leather. Leather can be stiff, especially if it's cold leather and it's not, you know, very warm or been heated up to where it's more pliable. Placing it on a patch, this is our six ounce veg tan leather, can be difficult. Not with this adhesive. Placing this patch was no problem uh, putting this on the hat. So we did this yesterday. We're actually going to be doing a peel test on this hat right here to see what it looks like after we peeled it. If all is well, the adhesive layer should still be bonded to the actual hat. The only part that would fail would be getting a layer of leather just peeled off that hat, but the rest of it should be still on the hat. Uh, we have a leatherette sample that we've done here, so we're gonna be peeling this to see what that looks like, and this is our 1.78 millimeter uh, sample that we have right here that we've done. So this patch is actually, at 1.78, you're almost, well, no, you are identical to the same thickness of the leather, of the five to six ounce leather, which if you guys work with five to six ounce leather because you like the thickness of it, it just looks like a bold, sturdy patch on a hat. This patch right here, this leather at 1.78 is gonna be amazing. Now at the minimum, because the samples that we're getting, at our minimum, we're looking at actually 1.65 right now. So that's gonna be our, actually our size. That's gonna be the most efficient from what I've been told. Um, and then two, they're coming out with a new product that is going to be a two layer leatherette. Even better for bonding. If you're not using a premium uh, adhesive overseas with these manufacturers, which again, they're not going to tell you that because they're using a standard basic adhesive to get the job done. We've actually, when we're talking to our source, she told us, hey, there's a better version adhesive they can use for the in-between layer because we were, we were showing them pictures of these other companies, how their stuff was failing in the layer process. The layers were peeling. Here's some pictures right here. So the layers were peeling and these were just from sitting over time or maybe they got some sweat Somebody was sweating because they were working in the hat and all of a sudden the, the, the patch is just peeling off or the adhesive is releasing. Maybe their, their, their process when it comes to putting the patch on the hat is either too hot um, or it's not hot enough. You know, they didn't bond the adhesive right. It didn't melt. They didn't hit the melting point. So a lot of factors when it comes to how somebody applies a patch. Our test here, this leatherette, this was a, a basic uh, JDS leatherette here, uh, 1.45 millimeter. We peeled it off. The adhesive didn't come off. I mean, we even tried to prick, we had to really prick at it to get it off and it just didn't. When we did it again, leatherette, there it is, the gray backing. So the leatherette peeled off, but the adhesive backing did not. You could see how square that is. We even try again to pick at this one and you could see the adhesive is still there. It's still there in the corner. So the adhesive is not coming off but there's a layer of foam backing still on these hats. So, so far in our leatherette testing, at least with JDS, uh, with our adhesive grip tech is absolutely flawless. So that is a proud moment for us, but now we're gonna test the sample. Now this isn't the sample, this was just one sample from another company. This isn't the actual sample that we are gonna be selling but the color is based on the samples we get today, the foams, the, the colors. Once we put it together, okay, we want these colors with this backing. And obviously we're using the premium adhesive between those layers. So we're using the better adhesive so that we have a superior product. So know that that's what you're getting with Essential and we're gonna be doing an actual leather peel test. So we'll be peeling the leather, peeling the leatherette. And lastly, guys, we also have our dunk test. 
So there's the hat with the patch right there. So originally the plan was this hat was only supposed to be in the water for like 24 to 48 hours. At the time of this video, it's probably been about a week and a half now in, in this water. Uh, we're trying to test the not only the patch and that's that's hide bond that's on that hat with our adhesive so after a week and a half we're gonna see if when we peel that the adhesive releases from the hat completely so that's been one of the things that people complain about about some adhesives is is that's what's what happens after you sweat in it maybe you're cleaning it it's just one extra thing we're gonna do to guarantee our adhesive and, and how it handles uh, elements like that and then what we've also got on the website now essentialprincipply.com guys are new patch ruler guides so these guides actually go on the bottom of the hats like so these these guidelines right here line up to your side seams so there's multiple styles on the website guys i know for some of you you've always said hey how do you line up your circle patches your round patches you know, sometimes you could be off by a quarter inch, you know, three eighths of an inch and not even see it or realize it until, you know, you're looking at other hats and then you're like, crap. Well, we now have our round guide. We have our guide for shorter patches. So this one is uh, designed for a more rectangular style patch that's more centered in the hat. So maybe like a, a one inch by, by three inch or four inch type hat, but the shorter one inch style or even you know half inch style. We've also got our hexagon patch. So this is for your hexagon patches or even diamond shaped patches. And then we've got our clip weights. And all that does is it helps to anchor that, that guide on your hat. So while you move it and line up your edges to both side seams of your hat, you end up with a perfect arrow in the center of your hat. You know where to place that patch. But for these, it's kind of a no brainer. You just line up these sides and you place your patch right where that is. So just like so, that's what you would do, okay? So we have this for 2.5 for three inch patches. These are all JDS patch compatible, or if you have patches that are standard 2.5, three inch, three and a half by two and a half, three by two, etc. These are designed around those measurements, but it also has the uh, ruler actually on the guide so you can line up your patch and it matches that ruler guide this one here is for your larger patches like you know stuff like this but we even have an oval shaped patch too and then the arrows that are on the middle of these guides if you're using a laser alignment tool on your hat press we use the hotronics 360 iq we have a little magnetic laser that just clips to the hat press turn it on and there's your beam so even for lining up your lasers guys it's a great tool um, i highly suggest you go to the website buy all six because what it does is it takes the guesswork out of placement that is great for production it might add an extra 30 seconds to place in a patch but Again, it guarantees that your product is going to be flawless in the end and it builds confidence. That's what we're trying to do. So we have a lot of cool uh, hat tricks and products that are designed to protect your hats. One of our most popular is our hat mat. So we have the bill protector that protects the crown of your hat. And these are custom tailored guys to actually fit the crown perfectly the shape of the bill everything i am the one that started this product and the originator of this product so we have the hat bill protector as well they're all branded essential so you put that on your hat bill and what that does is it protects your bill from getting scorch marks i've seen too many times in these corners over here you'll get the edge of that heat platen that scorches these bills now if you're working with expensive hats like richardson nike um, you know, or even uh, new era hats. Those hats can get expensive, even at wholesale prices. You know, when you're talking six, seven, eight, you know, 10, whatever, whatever dollars per hat, as soon as you score said hat, you're done. You just wasted that product and now it becomes yours. Don't waste patches, don't waste product because in the end that means money. So that's the state of where we're at at Essential Guys. We're trying to develop products now so we want to get products out to you guys whether it's tumblers uh, leatherette products patch products we want to be a seller of products versus decorators so we'll still be doing decorating we'll still be doing patches but we want to focus more on selling the products to you guys as decorators at a great price i guarantee you right now 
our adhesive will not be what these other guys are charging. It will not be. If you're ordering overseas, again, like I said, there's a reason you're doing that. You're doing that because you're trying to get a better price, right? Because you don't want to buy here within the States because it's expensive. If you're getting a better price overseas, why are you not reflecting that to your people? When you got a leather sheet, a leatherette sheet like this, $5.99, right? $5.99 for this, this sheet, no adhesive. Oh, you want our adhesive on it? Well, that just, that just turned into $15.99. It's gonna cost you $15.99 now. It's gonna cost you $10 to put a sheet of adhesive on this. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that shouldn't be happening. It does not, it does, if they're having to charge you $10 for a 12 inch by 24 inch sheet of adhesive, they are doing it wrong. They are, they are doing it wrong completely. Now there's people out there say, yeah, but I still make money off of a $16 sheet of adhesive. Fantastic. In order for you to get a discount, you gotta buy them bulk, right? I don't understand why a film of adhesive is costing more than the leatherette sheet itself, which actually costs more to produce. It's crazy. We're not gonna do that, guys. So again, you know me at Essential, we're here to help. We're here to get the product in the hands of you guys, the decorators, so that you can make profits yourself and enjoy it. Because I have the mentality of being a contractor, everybody who's involved in building a house should be making money, not just one person, right? At least the contractors I worked for, you know, the generals, that's, that's always been their concept. No, I should make money, you should make money, we should all make money, we should all be happy not just one person making the money, not just one person getting rich, and then showing off what he's doing with all his money. To me, that's not fair, um, and that's not what we're gonna do here. So be prepared. Um, if you got thoughts, if you got any feedback on what we're doing, post in the comments. I'd like to hear from you guys. I'm trying to develop a community. We have a Facebook group, EssentialPrintSupply.com has a Facebook group. Join that group, it'll be in the description. And what we're going to be doing there is just, again, starting a community of people and decorators that want to get busy. Um, we're also going to be doing pre-release on the adhesive. So if you are interested in the adhesive, let me know. Obviously, though, we want to present these tests first just so it builds confidence in, in what you, you want. But this is what you guys have been asking for, an adhesive like this to help place your patches. We don't want to be putting heat tape on our patches. Sometimes the adhesive can interfere with this top layer. It can peel maybe a layer of color off where that tape went. I know for sure this stuff can't go on leather patches. It'll ruin either the stain or something in the leather patches. So it's very hard to place patches. And then sometimes when you're putting a dry patch down, the dry patch, uh, it's very hard to place those. And then when you put your cover over to protect it, you can't see it. You don't know what it's going to do. You got to be very careful and hope that that patch, once you put that platen down, didn't shift an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, and then you're done. So this helps resolve that problem, and this is why we're going to sell this product. So again, my name is James. If you guys are here for the first time, I thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. A long video, but there's a lot of information. We just had to get out there about what we're doing our reasoning behind it, just so that you guys have a better understanding of who we are, what we're doing for you, and what we're doing for us, and how we're all gonna be happy in the end. We will be taking this stuff to the expos as well. Once we get established with what we're doing, and everything's kind of officially put together, we're, we're probably gonna be hitting Impressions uh, Expo, and then some other expos with the product, because we wanna be able to get it out there to the masses. For now, those of you that are seeing this video, you're a very select few that knows about this product and it's going to kind of give you a heads up so get in our facebook group uh hey get to know me man reach out i'm not uh beyond speaking to anybody so that's what we do here like subscribe catch you in the next video guys peace out Just